mulching. It's the security blanket our garden needs to grow like a boss. The concept is easy and the practical application is even easier. So let me show you how and what I mulch my veggie garden with, as well as the top three reasons that you need to be mulching your veggie garden to be successful this year. And it starts right now. First up, what are some common mulches? Well, the answer to that is easy. Outside of cedar and probably pure wood chips, we can mulch with pretty much anything. My go-to standbys for the last seven years have been green grass clippings, shredded leaves, old foliage from previous crops, coarse straw, and combinations of each of them in varying ratios. Whatever you have on hand will likely work, just get that bare soil covered. Whatever material you choose, to apply that mulch, simply place it liberally around all your growing plants. With direct seeding, you can still mulch, just place it over top in a very thin, maybe about half an inch, uncompressed layer. But be aware that you don't want to impede germination in any way. As you go along mulching that planted bed, ensure you cover all the exposed soil for maximum effect. You've probably noticed on a lot of my videos, I also put down a layer of either cardboard or newspaper. This is sort of a style of sheet mulching used when trying to observe no-till or no-dig gardening. By placing this extra barrier down, we add another layer of protection to further enhance the mulch's effectiveness. And this leads us right into the top three reasons why all of us backyard veggie gardeners need to be mulching. The first reason we need to mulch our garden is to suppress weeds. In nature, exposed soil only ever exists for two reasons, either a landslide or fire. Nature is the world's greatest mulcher, and whenever in doubt, copy what she does. The first thing that happens with exposed soil is that it is colonized by weeds. It's colonized either by seeds blown in by wind or by seeds that are already there. Your garden is no different. Every inch of exposed soil is a starting point for weeds to take hold and compete with your veggies for resources. Mulches choke out and suppress existing weeds as well as protect the soil from new weeds getting even an opportunity. This works in garden plots, raised beds, and even pots and containers. Mulching knows no bounds. The second reason for diligent mulching is temperature control. The sun can be brutal, and in the summer months, our garden is perpendicular to its powerful rays. This means that that soil can heat up and heat up fast. Exposed soil will reach unlivable temperatures during the day, causing the soil's microbes and beneficial bacteria to retreat further down. Eliminating your topsoil's active layer due to heat is very bad for your garden's productivity. This causes you to water more. However, watering exposed soil, especially soil left to dry out and bake in the sun, is often a mess. The water and soil mixture can run off and not even be effective at best. While it can also blast your soil everywhere, causing it to lose the very integrity as a growing medium at worst. A thick layer of mulch allows you to water safely from above and keeps that soil cool and moderate. 
This is ideal for the plant's growth that we don't get to see. Roots represent half the plant and sometimes even more. We need to give them the best conditions to maximize their growth. Because a healthy root system usually automatically means a healthy plant. And that means more production. Reason number two leads us perfectly into the third benefit of mulching. The last reason, and probably the most important, for why we need to be mulching our gardens is moisture retention. A thick layer of mulch is the perfect and really only way to prevent massive water loss. As we saw before, mulching allows us to effectively top water without destroying the soil's integrity. But it also traps that moisture in, allowing our crop's roots access to a constant supply. This has a multitude of positive effects. First, it means that our plants don't experience intermittent drought that can lead to crop failures and things like blossom end rot. It also means less watering. Plants need moisture to grow and produce, that's obvious, but every time we water our garden, we wash that soil and we flush out the nutrients and the goodness. When the soil is exposed, the evaporation rate is extremely high. This means more watering. And more watering means less fertile soil. Less fertile soil leads to chemical inputs. And this is the vicious cycle. Never has this been more evident than in the practice of modern agriculture. And historically, with the 1930s Dust Bowl. By destroying that top layer of soil due to first exposure, then worsened by plowing and tilling, we degraded the land beyond repair. Mulching is the magical ingredient that literally solves all of that. An active soil is a fertile soil that requires less inputs to grow a better crop. So, to recap, there are many mulches that you can use. Mix and match to find the one that works best for you. Lay the mulch on thick at least 2 inches, ensuring you cover all the exposed soil. Mulching is easy, it doesn't cost anything, and it's necessary for three main benefits to your garden. Mulching actively prevents weeds by suppressing their growth and not allowing them to establish in the first place. It also moderates our soil temperatures, allowing the roots to flourish and maximize their growth. And lastly, mulching is necessary for proper moisture retention, keeping our plants with a constant supply of water. The world's greatest land crop by mass is our forests. They are also the world's greatest mulcher. By design, plants mulch themselves. This is on purpose, and we should heed that. Hey, just wanted to give a quick shout out and thanks to all those who've joined the Facebook group, Growing Better. The group has grown steadily every day, and it really gives everyone a chance to share their own garden experiences and knowledge. Here's the welcome video for anyone that was curious on joining. Hey guys. Thanks for checking out the Growing Better Facebook group. My name is Jeff, and as many of you know, I run the Ripe Tomato Farms, which is an organic, small plot intensive farm located in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia. For those of you already following us on YouTube and Instagram, you know that we're all about finding the best tips and strategies for maximizing your backyard veggie production. My reason for starting this Facebook group, however, was to regain a sense of community. Now I love running the YouTube channel. I love sharing all the tips and strategies and methods that I've learned on the Ripe Tomato Farms homestead over the years. But again, it's just me talking in front of a camera. So hopefully by starting this group, we can get a great discussion going with all of the like-minded people who are passionate about growing their own organic fresh fruits and vegetables right in their backyard. So from my farm to your farm, I want to thank you for joining the group and please feel free to share as much as you want. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.